everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. This is a Ikea haul. I've got lots of goodies that I bought. I did uh, film a little bit of the new in bits around store so I'll insert that now so you can have a look. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive it's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me May my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine and I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive Grab yourself a drink of choice. I have got a Wittard's Turkish apple today, which is really, really nice actually. And it is bitterly cold outside. I've not long been in and I definitely need this to warm up. Feet up and let's get into the video. As we all know at the moment, everything's going up in price. And I don't know about any of you guys, but getting washing dry is a little bit of a nightmare. We do have a condenser dryer, but we try not to use it too much. And the things that take, I'd say, the most amount of time to wash and dry are bed linen. And I don't know about any of you, but bath mats some of ours are quite heavy and they take forever to dry so i wasn't intending to get any of these but i saw them and i just thought they were really good so these were £4.50 each quite a budget uh bath mat actually they did have them arranging colors but i kind of got this really nice beige color they are 40 centimeters by 60 centimeters they've also got the rubber backing but what i like is they are so thin and I honestly think these will dry really, really quickly on a radiator, which is kind of what we need at the moment, because like I said, drying bath mats are an absolute nightmare. But yeah, they did come in a range of colours, but I just went for beige. I personally would have gone for black if they had black, but I couldn't really see black. They might have had like a charcoal grey, but it was black that I wanted. And I did pick up two of these, one for the main bathroom and one for the ensuite. But yeah, I think that's fantastic value. And it's not that I don't like the big thick ones. I do, I love them. But trying to get those dry in winter is not great. So maybe kind of use those for summer where they can dry really easily on a washing line. And then I saw this and I really liked the colour of this towel and it gave me a bit of inspiration to add a little bit of green to our main bathroom. I just love this. It's kind of like this waffle effect. And I'd say it's, I'd say a bit of a sage green actually. And then it's got these kind of tassely ruffles at the end. This is a hand towel which is 20 by no 50 sorry 50 centimeters by 100 so it's a really decent size actually and it's got the hook so it could just be hung which i'll probably hang this up actually off the um towel radiator i just love the color it's probably coming out a little bit brighter on camera but it's very much a sage green and i do think now i might add a little bit of green to my bathroom so how much was that that was five pounds which i think is a really good price 
Now, I came across some of these and I only picked up four and then I came home and I thought, why did I only pick up four? They are Parkler. Yeah, Parkler. Uh, these are like storage bags and not really sure what the purpose is designed for, whether it's for shoes or what, because they are on the smaller side. They are 48 centimetres by 22 centimetres. I did pick up four of these and I've already used one. I think these are brilliant. So it's these storage bags. They do do other bags in this same material. So it has got a zip and it does open up. So it's probably that sort of width. And these were 50p each. I mean, I don't know about you, but I think that's an absolute bargain. And I just thought, literally, for storing anything, these are, are fantastic. You could use these um, for packing some of your clothes into your suitcase to kind of keep it sectioned off. Uh, you could use this for food storage. You could use this for shoes. That'd be quite a good one, actually. When you go abroad and you pack your flip-flops and you don't obviously want them getting, you know, dirt or any kind of grime on the rest of your clothing, these would be perfect for flip-flops. So, yeah, I'm a bit annoyed that I only got four, to be honest with you, because I can't actually believe that these were 50p and they weren't in the sale. So yeah, that was definitely a bargain from Ikea. And then keeping with the green theme that I'm going to be adding into my bathroom, I saw this and I just saw, even just for decoration, I just loved it. It's this back scratcher, but it's got the same like sage green colour. And I just love it. This is, in fact, do you know what? I'm not even going to try pronouncing that. I have no clue what on earth that is. This was £4, so I think quite a good price. And I think that'd just be nice, even to just be used for decoration, to be honest with you. Yeah, got that. So I've got a few bits to go and kind of like revamp our bathroom a bit. I did go in there the other day and I changed a few things around. I took everything off. I just think sometimes it's nice to take everything off, put it back on, but put it back in different places. So I did have a bit of a swap around and there is a few things that I'd like to do differently in the bathroom. I definitely want to change up the mirror. Um, couldn't really see any mirrors in there though that I liked, but I just love that. And yeah, definitely going to keep with the kind of adding a little bit of green. And then if you watch my videos regularly, you would have seen a while back, I completely restored a drawer sideboard for our living room. And I've mainly been putting things in there that I would use for work or art bits, pens, pencils. And there are a few drawers that are very sort of disorganised. And I came across this. I'm hoping that it's actually going to fit. Now looking at it, I'm not sure. But if it doesn't fit, then I'll either find somewhere else or I can return it. So this was £7. And it is the Kugis. cookies um i think they do a whole range of these and they also do boxes with lids but i found this because it's got lots of different compartments i thought this would be fantastic for storing pens pencils you know all those kind of like bits that you shove in a drawer that get mingled up and i just like organization i like having a place for everywhere so i think that would definitely help and that was seven pounds i do know that that's the doorbell i'll be back in a minute and Oh, sorry about that. That was my Tesco shopping. Oh, right, let's get back to it. Okay, I then picked up, every time I go to Ikea, I pick these up. My husband loves Ikea coffee and thinks really highly of it. So I got two packs of the coffee beans. I think these are two ninety five each. No, oh my gosh, they've gone up to three fifty. <gasps> I know for a fact these used to be 2 
so yeah it was seven pounds actually that's now really expensive for 500 grams maybe he's gonna have to give up his ikea coffee i mean it's not a major increase but that's still a fair bit okay right moving on i picked up this vase absolutely love this vase they also do it in a larger size which i was tempted they didn't actually have any prices up now i am thinking about coming and getting some of that spray that almost gives like a stone effect and spraying this because i like the shape but i didn't necessarily want it see-through so that's going to be a little project coming up and this was nine pounds so not the cheapest really is it nine pounds it's not it's not particularly big but i just really liked this big fat rim around the top it just makes me almost feel like it's a bit like a milk bottle yeah i just really like it and i am thinking that actually it will look a lot nicer sprayed so yes that will be a project and then speaking of project this is actually a lid to one of their like glass containers the ikea 365 plus range so it's just bamboo it's got the rubber lip it's also got a bit of a dip all the way around i'm actually thinking about using this as a little bathroom tray spraying it black taking obviously off the rubber seal how perfect will that be for a little tray yeah so i'm going to spray this black and i think that's going to look amazing again a little project i might do these as shorts but yes watch out for that because that will be another video coming up i then picked up some of these bags i picked these ones up before i love them they're just teeny tiny but actually they really come in handy for lots of different things a pack of 25 and those were £1.50 which i think is a really good price and then i saw this i'm sure this was reduced i'm not sure it doesn't say but i'm sure this was in the reduce was reduced it's just called it's just classed as an accessory bag scorder i think the name is and this was a pound now i really like this because it's like almost like waterproof plastic inside which i thought would be perfect for putting toothbrushes and things in um or anything really just plain black and white i like the fact that it's got that pop of yellow and a pound i think is a fantastic price and then i don't know if this is going to be like a short-lived thing or whether they're going to have these in for a while it is called that and it's just these are by the tills it's an ikea bag and i just love the kind of sage greeny color it's got the spots the black two black handles the short one and the longer one i just thought it was a fantastic shopping bag so yeah i picked one of those up and that was i think one pound fifty yes one pound fifty so a little haul today um I did have a really, really good long look in the kind of reduced section at the end. That, if you know me, is my favourite part of Ikea. I just love having a look. Couldn't really see anything today. And I probably could have bought loads more, but I'm not really needing lots at the moment. I have kind of got a few ideas to do up a few areas in the house. Like I said, I'd like to... I think not only just the main bathroom, but actually my ensuite, give it a little bit of a makeover. Not too sure what my ensuite yet, but definitely the bathroom, I'd like to give a little bit of a makeover. So I have started grabbing a few bits. It's a shame really that it didn't really have more kind of like of the sage greeny sort of colors. It would have been nice if they'd had a bath mat that matched that towel. But it might just be that it's not long been in and that they'll have them in soon. I don't know. But yeah, so I'd like to do a little bit to both bathrooms. Uh, I would like to do something to my bedroom as well. My bed desperately needs replacing the corner, I suppose, slat underneath the mattress 
has given way. I think it's where I always sit, do my makeup, no, not do my makeup, but do my hair. Um, you know, if I put socks on in the morning, anything like that, I'll always sit on that corner bit. And I'm presuming just over time, it's just kind of like given way. So yeah, I could redo with a new bed. I don't know when that will be though. And I would like to change the bedside, either change the bedside drawers or do something else like replace them or upscale them, paint them. I'm not sure. But yeah, there is a few things I would like to do over maybe the coming months, this year, I don't know. And I would like to do a little bit of something to this living room, not much because it just doesn't need it. I have bought frames to replace the picture frames that I've already got. And I've had those, it's so embarrassing, I've had those well over six months. And so I'd like to change all the pictures over. And obviously at some point we'll have new sofas delivered. I'd like to maybe change a few of the accent cushions, just a few little bits, nothing major, but yeah, a few projects along the way. And I'd like to do a little bit more on home interior and me changing things around because it's something I'm really passionate about. And I haven't really done much of it since we moved in this house because obviously we had loads of work done when we first moved in. It hasn't really needed it. But now obviously get a few pieces. There's a few things I'd like to change or, you know, just make look better or yeah. I've got a few ideas and I'm really excited to change things up you know I just I actually think that changing things up in your home really is important I just think that it makes you it's not that you fall out of love with your home because I don't but I just think it's I don't know it makes you fall in love with it again then and it's just exciting that you can make a space that you've been using feel so different yeah I really hope you have enjoyed this video and a little look around Ikea and I'll see you really soon in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye. I lose my breath whenever I see